Okay, we're gonna find a bug in flight gear. Let's take flight. Ew. Just the HUD properties and take off the 3D because we don't need it. Okay. I'm gonna start. Mouse gets put aside. Joystick. Alright, Logitech Attack 3. Gotta start the engines manually because they just cut out. Okay. Chase do. Cause that's what we want. Let's do a standard takeoff. Beautiful. Where it should be. Now, we aren't here just to take off. We're here. Ooh, that's gonna hurt. If I was real, I would have crashed already. We are here to expose a bug in flight gear. A memory leak. So while the plane gracefully takes off. We are going to send it off to outer space, so you know how we do this. Control U. Normally it's yes, a cheat code. We're bringing the plane very high in the sky. Let's give it some speed for now, let it get a bit of speed, proper speed. Oh, forgot to put the land gear up, that was silly. Give her some speed, direct nose dive. That's the speed we're looking for. And that's normally where it flies at. There's a little bit of a bug that prevents that from happening, but whatever, that's the aircraft. Now, what we want to do now is drive it up. And up. And up. To 150. Then we're going to do a plane nosedive, or at least until the plane starts losing control. I think the one, yeah, right here. Okay. Now, oh, the plane wants to drift. Okay, that's fine, let it drift. Okay, perfect. Oh, just before losing control. This is beautiful. Now, here we go. We're going to do a plane nosedive. Yes, I got the keyboard set to that now. Plane down. This is where things become funny. I just regained control of it, otherwise it would have gone to a spin that would have crashed. This is not what we want. Okay, here we go. This is the kind of shenanigans I love doing. Stress testing the aircraft until they cannot take it no more. Here we go. Look what speed we're getting at now. This is where I want it. So now, Increase the speed a bit, yes. We're going to increase the height a bit, which thoughtfully decreases the speed. I'm not using the joystick for now. I'm going to climb it a bit and drag it back into outer space a bit. Yes, now I'm using the joystick. We are at, okay, we are now at, or near Mach 1. There we are. Now, as soon as it gets really close, I'm going to pull up and watch what happens. There we go. 
Now you're going to see a memory lick in progress. Task manager is in the top right. I'm going to click OK. I'm going to try and close this now. Nothing happens. Let's look at the system log. Look at the memory increase right there. It normally closes. Now it's going much higher. Now I will have to stop this before it breaches 100. Otherwise, you know, it's going to cause a problem. Processes. Memory, look at this. It's now increasing and sort of decreasing. But look at this. It was supposed to close. Yet, it's not closing. I'm just going to move it over. 44 gigabytes now. Kill. I'm not going to kill it yet until it gets very critical. That's when I'm going to kill it. Otherwise, OBS is going to crash and you know the whole process. So far, it's sitting at 52.2 gigabytes. This is not good. It's supposed to close. Sixty gigabytes. Sixty-seven. As soon as it gets too close, I'm gonna hit kill. Why? I only got 128 gigabytes of RAM in this thing. Look at this memory leak. This is not supposed to happen. Okay. Getting close. Getting super critical. Okay. I was not about to have a kernel panic. Look at that history. Right here. Look at that history. That's not good. Not good at all. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's the whole cause of that problem. Now, let the developers see it.